Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Mezco Toys Family Guide 2006 Summer Exclusive, The Deluxe Evil Monkey. A rather funny story about how I picked up this one. Um, I knew he was coming out back in 2006 and he was going to be a summer exclusive. Um, but I couldn't get my hands on the evil monkey. I, he eluded me like no other collectible back in the day. Then I actually went to a toy show along with a friend of mine. And as I was leaving the booths, heading out, wrapping up the end of my day, my excursions there, I, had a, I found a guy that was packing up stuff. And I saw the box, and, and and I didn't think initially that it was actually the evil monkey. I thought it was he had just had put stuff in that box, and I had asked about it. I said, you know, is that is that the evil monkey from Mezco Toys? And he said yes. Well, sure enough, I ended up picking this up for my venture out from the the uh, convention. It's a very very small convention here in Canada, and I think I ended up picking this one up for. I want to say about $35 to $40. Maybe it was about closer to $35. I can't even remember because I've had in, this in my collection for, I guess, about nine, eight, nine years now. And I just never reviewed it. It just has sat in a closet. And I thought, one of these days, I want to review the Evil Monkey. And, of course, now that moment is here. Um, I feel like I did spend about $30 for this. It might have maybe just a little bit more. But he clearly didn't want to carry it back to his truck or his car or whatever got him to the convention. So I think I made off with a pretty good steal here. Now the, the monkey is tall. It's 12 inches tall, just to be exact. I've got a tape measure here, which I should probably start making use of in future reviews. But yeah, it's it's not 100% 12 inches tall. In fact, it's actually closer to 11 inches tall. And perhaps the head doesn't really move any further up than that. So I think an actual read of it is closer to 11 inches and not so much 12. Uh, one of the big perks to this particular piece is that it's flocked. In other words, it has that raised texturing that you probably have become familiar with if you collected like the old Masters of the Universe figures where like the uh, panther or panthor or whatever the, uh, the little cat was that Skeletor rode had that flocking to it. And uh, Mossman also had that flocking to it. So the flocking makes up the majority of the figure, the top, the arms, the legs, and of course the back where his tail is situated. The downside to having it flocked though is eventually, there's not really much you can do about it, but eventually flocking will start to wear itself off or it will just start to start disappearing depending on how much, of course, contact you have with it. Uh, things such as the tail are posable, but when you are rotating things such as this, you're probably going to be wearing away that flocking. Uh, it does have some posability. We'll get into that in a second. But essentially, the reason why I want to pick this up was probably the same reason why most people would pick this up. And that's the fact that you can angle the head and you can literally have the monkey pointing down at you. If you have it up on a shelf or something like that, you can have the evil monkey pointing down at you like it's going to kill you. And I hope I... I hope even though I've packed it away in a box for as long as I have, this monkey has no ill intentions towards me. The majority of the, the paint, the plastic wise on the monkey, is almost like more of a, I want to say almost the coloring of a chocolate milk. Kind of like a creamy brown color, which doesn't actually match the same coloring as its feet, uh, as it does to the chest. The chest is actually a lighter color than the, the feet and the, or the feet and the hands here. Of course, you have the one very exaggerated pointed finger right at you, which is a, a trait if anybody has watched Family Guy. Family Guy is one, one of my favorite cartoons, but uh, Evil Monkey was one of my favorite aspects of the Family Guy cartoon as well. The teeth, I think, could have been painted in a little bit differently. I mean, they painted it in white, but they didn't really go back and put in any of the little panel lining just to show those, just kind of separate those teeth. Uh, maybe, I don't know, if adding additional black lining to it would have made the teeth look too messy, but something just to make it so it doesn't, from a distance, it kind of just looks like a one big white blob, as opposed to if they had gone in and maybe just lined this a little bit differently, you could probably have seen the teeth. But they did put a little bit of lining underneath the eyeballs, right where the lower lid areas of his eyes are. And of course, the notable thing about the evil monkey is that stare. He's staring right at you. 
Oh, he's staring right at you. These little dots right there signify his eyes. And uh, again, it's a nice looking piece. I like all these little, uh, little sculpted portion, portions of his fur. Part of me almost wishes that this wasn't flocked because I know eventually this is gonna start wearing itself down. But uh, it does have a nice feel to it by the fact that it's incorporating that flocking uh, to it. A little bit of the hair sculpted into the top of the head. And it's got these nice little areas where it's got fur that's been sculpted, like on the, sh on the uh, elbow here, the knees. There's the underside of it. It, it basically is hollow. I mean, that's, that's a big hole in the bottom of the evil monkey. And it does feel like the interior is just hollow. In fact, tapping it, Hello! Tapping it, it does feel like it does, it does have a hollow, a hollow feel to it. There's a date, it says Mezco 06 underneath, and Fox. Posability on this guy, let's get this, this is basically going to be quick. There's not really a lot to be said for his posability. His head rotates left and right, but not really a lot though. Uh, it moves, well I guess you could move it all the way around, but it doesn't make sense if he's pointing this way, why his head is going to be facing this way. So you probably will want to have the head facing around. The arms do rotate, so if you can, you can actually get the arm further around, which I guess if you're going to have it up on a shelf, you would want the arm further down, so that you can rotate the head all the way around and closer to the shoulder. The hands don't appear to rotate, but again, the, the arms do a good enough job of rotating on their own. Uh, they do hinge outward, as well as an all the way around motion. Doesn't look like the hands do rotate. The feet rotate, but again, the bottom part of the monkey is sculpted. So it's really only the feet that are gonna turn. And lastly, if we spin around the monkey to the back, you've got slight posability in the tail, slight posability in the top portion of the tail where you can rotate that as well. It's a long overdue re review. I mean, literally, when I started re reviewing here on YouTube, Evil Monkey was one of the reviews I was actually gonna start with, if you could actually believe it. It was one of the first videos I was gonna start with. And I just thought, nah, I'll do Spider-Man. I got a whole bunch of these spectacular Spider-Mans. And as they say, the rest is history. But in the back of my mind, I thought to, my, to myself, I'm gonna go back to the Evil Monkey. I laid awake at times, tossing and turning, talking in my sleep. I'm going to go back to the evil monkey. I'm going to go back to the evil monkey. I'm sure anyone is wondering, what is he saying? Going back to what? The evil monkey. But now the time has come, finally looking at the evil monkey. And actually, he's been in box all this time. So I might be inclined to probably put this guy on display and present, present him in the way that the evil monkey was meant to be presented. <laughs> Passing judgment on you and anyone else that enters into the room, along with the uh, Today we were checking out a long overdue collectible. I don't know if you can even find this guy. I mean, I've looked from time to time on eBay. I mean, how do you just type in Evil Monkey? A lot of times, you, I think you get the smaller figure. But it's few and far between that they had the larger 12-inch version of this guy available on eBay. And I don't even think there's many reviews on YouTube either showcasing the evil monkey. So you're welcome. You're welcome. A bit of a nostalgic trip for me as we talked about my early adventures on YouTube. But at the end of the day, we we're looking at the Family Guy Deluxe Evil Monkey with flocked fur. Still a little iffy on the flocked fur aspect of it, but still a pretty cool collectible nonetheless. Hey now, ho now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button now you may not get any more evil monkeys, but you are going to be getting a whole ton of new videos hitting this channel frequently. As well, if you guys are fans of, of Family Guy, I've also got a Family Guy playlist there for your viewing pleasure as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.